Hello everybody and welcome back to Talk Football Now. Ah, Man City have been knocked out of the Champions League by Leon. Um, the score ended 3-1, so it wasn't really the closest of games. I feel like Man City wasted a lot of chances. Man, um, Leon took them. Um, could Leon be the shock of the Champions League? They got to the semi-final and fair play to them. I remember it started in the ninth minute. Leon had a corner uh, and he, uh, he he got cleared and he had a shot. It was a good save from Edison to be fair. In the 23rd minute, uh, this is where the goal was. Leon had it just inside their, their half. Played a brilliant ball to be fair to, I think it was t- to Dembele. It was poor, poor keeping from Edison. And um, Cornet, I think his name was, put it home to make it uh, 1 0 inside 23 minutes to really shock uh, a lot of people. He went to VAR, uh, but the ref gave it. It then took a long time for Man City to kind of try and get back into it. It was the 41st minute. Man City. I remember uh, they had it. Uh, they had a chance where uh, Sterling had it out on the right. He then sat down a, a defender. He then played it to I think it was Rodri, who put it straight at the keeper. Um, that was good play from Man City, but it just just wasn't good enough. Like they were not creating anything. So at this point, they're not creating chances. So every time they get one, they have to take it. They just didn't. In the 30th minute, I remember they had another chance. Uh, they had it, uh, I think they had it out on the left. Uh, the, the guy then crossed it in. There was a good save from the keeper. Uh, and then I think it was Sterling that tried to uh, to get there. And it was really, really good keeping from the keeper. <laughs> but uh, Man City then uh, was trying to get it back in the box. I remember, I think it was Sterling who uh, uh, dribbled it into the box out on the left. Uh, but yeah, they pretty much got it cleared. And then in the 59th minute in the second half, they were you know they're one nil down. They really need to get back into it. Kevin De Bruyne had a free kick. It was a good free kick, but it was a good save from the keeper. Uh, but this try at this point, they just really need to start taking them. Uh, it was the 62nd minute where um, Leon actually had it just outside the box. I remember he had a shot. And it went straight at Edison. It was a good save. And then Man City, fair enough, did finally take one of their chances. Kevin De Bruyne, I think it was, to equalise to make it one all. But then Man City, uh, Leon, then just not long after, had it one on one. Uh, Not really good keeping from Edison. And the Leon manager went mad. I remember it was incredible in the 78th minute. Uh, they went 2-1 up. It went to VAR. Uh, nothing was overturned. I don't think it was. should have been overturned. And then in the last chance, I remember Sterling's miss in the 85th minute. Oh, it's... I remember I saw something and they were like, that's why Kane didn't pass to him against Croatia. It was Jesus that squared it to him. He had an open goal to equalise and he put it over the bar. And then Leon went down the other end straight after, I think. Uh, I think it was Depay who had a shot. It was poor from Edison. Uh, really should have caught it. He parried it, I thought. He should have caught it. And Dembele went off to get a third for Leon, And uh, they went on to really shock a lot of people. Uh, I remember Kevin De Bruyne had a free kick to kind of possibly get back into it. There was two minutes left. But it was a good save from the keeper, to be fair. They then had a corner. Uh, that was headed by, I think it was Walker, that uh, went, went, uh, went, uh, went wide. Uh, then, yeah, that was that was it. Man City were kind of poor. I, I can't lie, they had a lot of chances, just didn't take them, which is, like I said, surprising for Man City. Pep said it wasn't good enough, and you've got to agree. Uh, fair enough, they did create a lot of chances, but you're in the Champions League. Leon aren't a bad side, and... You you just have to take them, otherwise you know that's gonna happen. You know you could be absolutely dominating the game and then you can lose by two. You know like like that. 
Um, defending wasn't really great. Uh, so yeah, not really a good day in the office for Man City. Now, moving on to transfer news. Bournemouth accept a £15 million bid for Ramsdale for Sheffield United now. I feel like he is a very good keeper. He shouldn't be in the Championship. Yes, he got bought, uh, relegated for Bournemouth, but that doesn't mean every player in that team is bad. Um, he's he's a young goalkeeper. Um, you know, I, I think he's good, and I feel like that could also mean that Sheffield United could be getting rid of Dean Henderson because um, he does not deserve, none of them two deserve to be on the bench. Newcastle United target Chris Smalling. He's a good player as well. You know, he was uh, in the team of the season uh, for Man U in 2016. Um, then went. I, I just don't know why he went to Rome or known. I think, quite, uh, um, controversially, he could be better than Maguire and probably a, quite a few of them Man U centre-backs. Um yeah, so I feel like, I mean, I'll very, very happily take him at Watford. He's a very underrated centre-back, and Newcastle can really get themselves a player there. Chelsea could go in for £40 million for Lewis Dunk if they don't get Rice. Um, that's interesting, because if you look at who they're getting, Zayac, Werner, you know, players like that. And, and no disrespect to Dunk, he is a good player. But is he really at that level? Like, they could be... They're probably going for the Premier League title this year. And yet... I'm sorry, but Lewis Dunk is a bit of a weird signing. Like, yes, he is Premier League experience, but... I feel like they, they possibly could have gone for better. But yeah, that's just my eyes. In my eyes. Arsenal are front runners to sign. £25 million rated for the 22-year-old Lille centre-back Gabriel... Maglays, I think I butchered that. M A G A L H A E S, but could still, but could face competition for Man United for his signature. So Man United and Arsenal look like <clears throat> they could be signing uh, Lille, 22-year-old centre back, which looks good. But no disrespect, but look what happened last time. Arsenal went in for a Lille player. No disrespect, but sent, but spent about 80 million on him. And uh, he he didn't really look like an eighty million pound player, but yeah, but he you never know. He's a twenty two year old centre back, looks decent. Uh, but yeah, Chelsea are looking to wrap up a seventy million pound deal for Kai Havertz swiftly, but competition from Arsenal fullback uh, for Arsenal fullback Sergio Rijulin, according to Sports, he's a Spanish twenty three year old. Uh, defender uh, that plays for Seville. Uh, Sevilla, sorry. He he looks all right. He's made a few Spain caps. Fairly young, 23. Um, I feel like he'll be Arsenal's level. Maybe not a Liverpool, but I feel like Arsenal. He could, you know, get into the team and do something there. So that could be a good signing for them. But Chelsea are also in advance to talk Sergio Regilin uh, for 22.6 million as Lampard continues his spending spree. Yeah, like I said, uh, maybe I'm not sure if he'll get into Chelsea because they're looking to sign players like Ziyech, Werner, you know, really good players. Um, even though, you know, he's a defender and he might not get in, but uh, even though he's a defender and he's completely different position to them, is he really on their level? Like, it's, it's a bit weird where you're going in for, like, them players and then going in for him, who's good. Like, I'll happily take him at Watford, but he's not quite on their level. Jan Vertonghen joins Benfica after leaving Tottenham. Vertonghen left Spurs at the end of the season when the club didn't decide to renew his contract, which shocked me. Like, it really did shock me. Um... Like, he, he, maybe he wouldn't get into your team, but what I would have done is possibly renew his contract and then try to sell him because you can't sell him on a free. Like, yes, he's getting on a bit, but I, I don't know. Like, he, 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 if, he's one of them players where I would sell him, but I wouldn't let him go on a free. Like, I wouldn't let him go... F like, there's a price tag that I'll put on him. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that, I'm, I'm not really sure about that. 
and Man United urged to complete Dayot Upamecano transfer after Champions League masterclass. So Oli must have seen what's happened in the Champions League and then literally gone to Ed and screamed at him saying, you know, sign up a Meccano, which could be big. I mean, they signed Maguire. He, he is a good player, but didn't didn't quite settle in at the start. But next to up a Meccano, I feel like that could be a very, very good defence, especially if they go in for a goalkeeper, because I'm not too sure on De Gea. Um, possibly if they try and get Dean Henderson back or someone. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of the video. Drop a like if you did enjoy. What do you guys think? Do you agree with some of these stuff? Do you think, you know, what Pep said was true? Are you interested in these transfer rumours, thinking they're false, or possibly, you know, if they're going to go? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you are new. These are going to be daily. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and peace.